Well, I want to know what you think about Africa 54, the stories you covered. Join the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54, and check out our headlines 24-7 on viewerafrica.com. Coming up, over one million people face food insecurity in Mozambique after devastating natural disasters. We'll take a look at how the country is coping. Welcome back to Africa 54, I'm Vincent McCory in Washington. Now, as Libya's two rival governments fight for control of the capital, Tripoli, airstrikes and artillery fire continue to batter the city. Over 1,000 people have died and more than 100,000 have been displaced by the fighting. As viewers have a Murdoch report from Tripoli, officials say if the fighting does not slow down, the country heads towards disaster. Ali Fatih El Fagi groaned as his car approached a tank, billowing metallic smelling smoke. An airstrike had hit the tank, and Ali was afraid his brother was among the casualties. He and a fellow soldier, Mohammed Bashir, hurried to a field hospital. For Ali, there was a moment of relief. His brother, Abdul Wahab, was not hit. But officials say Tripoli is at a breaking point. A hospital and a migrant detention center have also been hit by airstrikes as rival governments battle for control of the city. If this war expands or escalates, it will be a disaster, a big disaster. The fighting began in early April when Khalifa Haftar, the de facto leader of Libya's eastern government, announced his plan to take the capital by force. His forces have been battling with Tripoli's forces, loyal to the UN-recognized government in the West, ever since. Hafter says he is fighting terrorism. But on this side of the front line, soldiers say the war is for Libya's future. If Hafter wins Tripoli, they say, Libya will revert back to the days of rule by a single strongman. The support is very weak. The international community recognizes our government, but the war has gone on for months, and there is no no-fly zone or protection of the government or the civilians in the capital by the international community. Less than an hour after finding the burning tank, Ali and Mohammed drove off in their armored car, relieved that Abdul Wahab was okay. Mohammed says Ali then got in another vehicle to tow the burnt tank off the road. As he was working, Mohammed says, another airstrike hit Ali and killed him. Heather Murdoch, BOA News, Tripoli.